Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to take you guys along in cleaning out my closet and I'm also going to make some zucchini bread. If you guys know me from my other social medias, I have been working on decluttering and reorganizing my house this year. <laughs> Um, I've been doing this for about seven months now and it still feels like complete chaos. But then again, I do have five kids. We are a family of seven. So I feel like there's only so much that I can actually get rid of. I have taken a lot of trips to the thrift store over the past seven months. I feel like I have gotten rid of a lot of stuff, but yet the house is still cluttered and still gets pretty messy. I have actually already done this closet once I think it was about two months ago and I figured it's time to go back through it and get rid of the things that I have not worn and now that I am officially officially done having babies getting rid of my pregnancy clothes this freed up some space to be able to actually put clothes away that have been scattered around my room for a while so this definitely needed to get done. I really do not like our closet. I actually wish that he just left the closet the way it was originally. Um, the bathroom in our room is actually an add-on. It wasn't originally there. This whole space was a walk-in closet, but they cut off the closet or shrunk the closet they didn't really shrink the closet I, they turned half of the closet into a freaking bathroom which i mean is nice it's nice for us to have our own bathroom but i feel like i would suffice with one bathroom and a nice big closet trying to fit three people's clothes in this closet is really difficult mine and my husband's clothes are on the top uh, hanging rack and then because I have stuff shoved in the corner right where I'm standing below me I can't really hang anything up on the second hanging rack I sort of just use that for hangers and then on the right hand side I actually use it for Harley's clothes and I have this dresser that's taking up room as well which I do end up getting rid of so I can hang up my long dresses because a lot of the long dresses that I have hang down past the shelf. And it's just, it's not a functional closet. I, I don't understand what they were thinking when they did this, but it's really annoying. The shelves are not sturdy at all. And unfortunately, because we do rent, I can't do anything about it. I think that what that's what annoys me the most is the fact that I cannot do anything about it and make it more useful for us. So I kind of just have to go with the flow. And as you can tell, there's a lot of stuff crammed in here. We use it for storage, for, you know, things that I don't really want to get rid of, but I also don't really have a place to put right now. Um, and then, of course, all of our clothes are in the closet including pants and things that would usually go in a dresser but can we talk about how normal a messy house is i don't understand where a lot of people get this idea especially from social media that a house is supposed to be pristine and clean all the time and just honestly looks like something they copied and pasted from one of those home magazines that is not reality that's not reality for a lot of moms now i'm not saying that there aren't people that can keep a clean house especially with children because there are people out there that can keep a clean house even with kids but a majority I feel like majority of the population especially the mom population has a messy house or they have a clean house where you see it and the back of the house especially their room and stuff is a complete disaster now if you do know me from my other social medias I don't hide anything from the social media I do not pretend for social media this is my raw and real life this is my raw and real home i do not clean up before filming i 
film with the mess in the background and you guys can either take it or leave it but this this is who i am i am a very unorganized chaotic person i have always struggled with organization and um if you guys don't know i also have adhd which makes it even harder because here right here is where i just completely lost motivation i don't know what to do with the rest of this and it's overwhelming and pretty much paralyzing as i'm looking at it i'm like i don't know how to do this this is going to take too much time i don't have enough time to do this and then i start stressing myself out about it and then i just don't do it so with that i am going to take a break and we're going to make that zucchini bread that i talked about this is the zucchini that i got from my grandparents garden look at the shape of that that it just looks so cool i got so excited when they told me i could take it home and um I, I don't even know how it grew like this. I've never seen a zucchini this shape. But I'm going to cut it up and shred it up. Essentially, the half of that zucchini was about two normal zucchinis. So I just used half of the zucchini for my zucchini bread. And of course, um, if you haven't made zucchini bread, you got to shred up the zucchini. This recipe called for about two cups, I believe. And I've got this handy dandy fancy shredder. I love the shredder. Um, be careful not to shred your finger though. I am notorious for forgetting to use the little device that makes it to where you don't hurt yourself. I can't tell me how many times I've accidentally clipped my finger. It, it's ridiculous. So this zucchini bread came out pretty good. Um, hubby said it was a little dry. I guess I should have used a little bit more oil is what he um, told me that I needed to do. But I thought it tasted good, especially with some butter. Oh my gosh. The zucchini bread is so good and it's healthy for you because you, you know, you're getting your vegetable. Is a zucchini a vegetable or a fruit? I don't know. What is it? Is it a fruit or a vegetable? Now I've got to look it up. Is a zucchini a fruit or a vegetable? Zucchini is a fruit, not a vegetable. It's a young fruit that belongs to the cucurbitaceae plant family. This is from Healthline.com and EatThis.com. Okay, thanks Siri. Siri says it is a fruit. How weird. How weird is that? Did you guys know a tomato is a fruit? and not a vegetable? I think it's because it has seeds. So if it has seeds, it's a fruit. If it doesn't have seeds, it's a vegetable. From my understanding, right? I, I don't know. Healthy food confuses me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I am putting four cups of flour. Uh, just I'm using all-purpose unbleached flour. You could use bread flour if you wanted to, but I don't, I don't really know what the difference is between them. I think one is more of a cakey texture and the other one is more of a bread texture, which would make sense because it is bread flour. I don't know. Anyways, um, and then we're going to do sugar, raw sugar cane. I'm using organic raw sugar cane that I got from Costco. I love Costco. I always buy everything in bulk and it's it's so nice especially for a family of seven Costco is my best friend so I am doing what did I do I did a one and a half cups of raw cane sugar I believe I mean you can use granulated sugar but raw sugar definitely it just tastes better in, in my opinion I can definitely tell the difference and then we're gonna add in some baking soda I'm pretty sure I used two teaspoons it looks like i'm using the teaspoon um so or one no one teaspoon of um baking soda yes baking soda i had to read the container i'm trying to remember how i made this um and then of course you're going to put in some cinnamon as well i don't remember how much cinnamon i put in this um hold on now i'm, I'm looking I'm looking, I think it's another teaspoon. Another teaspoon of cinnamon. Honestly, I can just uh, 
No, that's a tablespoon. A tablespoon of cinnamon. I can add the link to um, this recipe if you guys want it. And then you just want to whisk up all of your dry ingredients well incorporated. When you're making this, definitely try not to over mix. If you over mix it, it will make the bread tough. And um, it just won't be as nice and airy. That's definitely something I struggle with when it comes to baking is over mixing things. I like to over mix a lot, especially when I'm using the KitchenAid mixer. I tend to over mix way too much sometimes and what I'm baking just does not come out the way it's supposed to. But we just, I'm learning guys, I am learning. I have not been baking for very long i honestly was never taught as a kid how to do this sort of stuff so as an adult i am teaching myself as i go along and experimenting and finding out what works and what doesn't work so next we're adding our wet ingredients and yes it does matter it does matter if you mix your wet ingredients in with your dry you have to mix your wet together and then your dry ingredients it, it does it does matter i don't know why it matters it just it does so three eggs whisk up those eggs and then we're going to add in some um vanilla i it's a tablespoon of vanilla it's a lot of vanilla but a tablespoon of vanilla and then you're going to put in your two cups of the shredded zucchini now this recipe does make two loaves of zucchini bread so just keep that in mind when you're making it if you just want to make one loaf i would definitely half everything so you use you know less flour less sugar cane whatever oh and oil i did i did use oil it does cause call cause call for vegetable oil but i like using olive oil olive oil just adds a little bit more moisture to it um but i should have added a little bit more olive oil than what the recipe called for because like i said hubby said it was a little dry he is very picky it is really hard baking for him because it feels like every time i make something something is wrong with it but at the same time he is a really good critic and he has made me a better cook he actually taught me how to cook i i know that's sad it is sad that my husband had to teach me how to cook because i didn't know how to i mean i knew how to i knew the gist of cooking um, but I always had to have a recipe to follow. I had to follow it to a T. And when he explained to me that a recipe is just a guideline for what you are cooking, uh, my dishes have gotten way better. I add in anything I want to. I never make a recipe the way that it actually is supposed to be made, except for when it comes to baking. Baking, you kind of have to follow the recipe with things. Oh, uh, apparently Harley has some things to say about my cooking as well, but I forgot what I was saying. What was I even talking about? Following recipes. Oh, so when it comes to baking, there is definitely a science to baking. I haven't quite, Harley, I haven't quite figured out the science to baking, but we're getting there. It's a learning experience. Um, I am adding some walnuts. I'm just putting it in my little chopper here and chopping them up nice and finely. Um, you can, if you want to, leave them whole, but I like the smaller pieces just because I am going to be feeding this to my kiddos. I do have to apologize. I did not get the end result of this bread i do have it posted over on my facebook page but i did not get a video of it because it is gone um we ate two loaves of zucchini bread in a couple of a uh, couple of hours um it was it was like a day the the twins were snacking on it and then of course my littlest one he was snacking on it and then i kept snacking on it and before we even knew it it was gone i'm like oh my gosh we literally just ate two loaves of bread i i was that was crazy i will say this recipe told me to 
put parchment paper in the, the bread pans. And oh my gosh, I am going to be doing this from now on. The parchment paper made it so easy to pull the bread out of the pan, along with the fact that there is no clean up. I love it when I don't have to clean something. I truly dislike cleaning. I just, I, it is not my favorite thing to do. I don't like chores. And I don't know if because chores were used as a punishment when I was a child. Um, because if I was bad or made bad grades or, you know, did something wrong, I had to go clean the kitchen or you have to clean your room or you have to, you know, go do something that that needs to get done. And uh, I have a feeling that is another reason why I don't like cleaning because I, when I was a kid, cleaning was used as a punishment. But anyways, I am putting this in the oven. I think it was 350 for about an hour and 10 minutes, if I remember correctly. And now that I took a nice break and made some bread, we're going to get back to uh, attempting to clean. All right, so I am working on the changing table dresser. This is actually just a dresser that I put a changing table pad on. And, and now it's just a changing table. I, I will tell you that this was the best thing ever. Instead of wasting money on a changing table that you're not going to use very long, just get a changing table pad and put it on top of your dresser. Why waste the money on a changing table? That's just me. If you like your changing table and you want to have a changing table, by all means, go buy yourself a changing table. But I, kids grow so fast. And... Honestly, I I had one changing table with the twins out in the living room and it it got used a handful of times. A lot of the times I changed the kids on the floor. So it that's just my preference if you like your changing table, by all means, keep your changing table. Anyways, um so I'm cleaning out these drawers. Uh, these drawers are stuffed with things that I just did not want to deal with at the time and just wanted to get out of sight. So out of sight, out of mind, completely forgot half of the stuff that was in here. And so I cleaned all that out. The stuff that you are seeing in front of my mirror over in the right hand side of your either TV screen or phone screen, that is all of the stuff for donation other than the box of diapers and of course the box of baby wipes. Everything else is donation. It is getting out of here and going to the thrift store. So I'm clearing out space for Harley's clothes to take that dresser out of my closet and free up that space that I was talking about. This bucket is clothes that I honestly put in here and completely forgot about. Uh, a lot of it he has already grown out of, so it's getting donated, while some of it is winter clothes that he can wear this winter coming up, and some is also summer clothes that he needs to wear before he grows out of it, which is crazy. He is he is growing so fast. He is in 18 months. Sometimes he can wear 24 months, but mostly he's in 18 months, and that is absolutely insane. It's also insane that he's 10 months old. He has two more months before he is one, and I just I I can't believe it. I am baffled honestly, with how fast kiddos grow. Oh, man. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm just putting all this stuff away, and now I am back at it again with my closet. I am hanging things up that have been honestly just thrown in there because I couldn't find any hangers, and since I got rid of some things. I have found some hangers. So we're going to hang this stuff up. Yes, I wear this stuff. Um, hence why it's off the hanger and on the floor because I had recently worn it and, you know, washed it and just threw it in there because I didn't want to put it away, honestly. I don't know why I think this way, but I always think that it's going to take longer to do something than it actually does. And I think that has to do a lot with a neurodivergent brain. Um, 
you always think that it's going to take longer than it actually does. And a lot of people have told me to set timers, and honestly, timers stress me out. Timers, they, they just stress me out. I have never been good with timed tasks, whether it was a timed test or timed cleaning or, hey, you have to get this done in five minutes. And then I start stressing out about the fact that I have only five minutes to do something. And then I stress about three minutes of that. And yeah, it just, it never works out. I, timers stress me out. So that, you know, mindset that people have been trying to tell me to do does not work for me. I like setting a stopwatch. A stopwatch allows me to know how much time I've actually been working on something. So realistically, cleaning my closet out, this is a different day from the beginning of the video. Doing this task, cleaning the closet out, pretty much took 30 minutes. But in my head, it was going to take four hours. I don't know why. I think like that. I don't know why my brain operates like that, but doing this task took 30 minutes versus the four hours that I was thinking that it would take. And that's honestly why I have such a hard time, you know, cleaning because it, it always seems to take longer than it actually does. And uh, does anybody else, you know, think like this? I, I feel like there's other people out there that think like this, but the closet is done, which I am super excited about we can find our clothes now my long dresses can hang up and got rid of so many things so many things my car was filled with stuff take taking uh, taking it to the thrift store but I am going to end this video on a nice kitchen clean because as you can tell my kitchen is a disaster my kitchen is the most used room in the house and it is always a mess I don't know what it is with this corner counter. It is always the junk counter. It is always cluttered. It is, it never stays clean, honestly. Things just get piled on to the junk counter and I do have to clean it off, honestly, every other week. I, I clean it off and take time to specifically clean it off um, and just put things away. Don't ask me. Everybody's got a junk counter or a junk table or a junk room. It, I also have a junk drawer, okay? There's just junk everywhere. <laughs> but, so I took this morning uh, time cleaning the kitchen because I walked out uh, and from, you know, from bed, obviously, I just woke up, walked out and looked at the kitchen. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a disaster. Um, I want to clean this and started cleaning. And... You know, some days I am really good at cleaning and it takes me no time to clean. And some days I have a lot of motion, motivation to clean like I did this morning when I woke up. But some days, like the first time I tried cleaning out the closet, I just couldn't get behind it. I could not do it. I did not want to do it. And I was trying so hard to make myself do it. And I just, I couldn't. It was paralyzing. And it's so frustrating because a lot of people, especially on social media, are like, oh, well, you can just do it. it it's, not, it's not that easy. Just doing it isn't that easy. Making yourself do something isn't that easy all the time. I'm, they, they act like it's the easiest thing in the, in the world, but it's, it's just not, especially for a neurodivergent brain. It, it's just not. And I take it as it goes. If, if I want to clean something, I will pick something that desperately needs to be clean. But a lot of the times I do the necessary cleaning, like the dishes and getting the food off of the floor and cleaning off the table and things like that. But everything else sort of just gets done when it it gets done honestly it will get done when it gets done um so but it feels nice to have a super super clean kitchen and guys do not forget to subscribe i'm trying to get to 500 subscribers here on youtube i'm almost there i'm at i think 314 also don't forget you need to wash your bottle drying rack every once in a while. I always forget to wash this. I, I, 
clean bottles go on it? Why does it need to be washed? You know, the same reason you have to clean your vacuum. Why do you have to clean something that cleans something? You still have to do it either way. Even if it doesn't make sense, you still have to do it. You have to clean the things that you use to clean with. <laughs> Here are some bell peppers and a tomato I also got from my grandparents' garden. Going and picking from their garden has just made me so excited about picking from our own garden. I'm super excited to get our stuff growing. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you guys the the garden stuff that I have started. The garden stuff. The plants. The plants that I have started. The older two went up there again for the last time for this summer um, before we start homeschooling, which I'm super excited about. So we were able to go and pick some blueberries, which I do plan on making some blueberry jam. I have never made jam before. So this should be an exciting experience. Um, along with, they gave me a bunch of butternut squash. So I need to figure out what to do with that. Do you guys have any butternut squash recipes? Can you make it into a pie? Is that is that such a thing, like a butternut squash pie? I don't know, that sounds really weird. Uh, what about butternut squash muffins? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I am going to find something to make with this butternut squash. There is a whole bunch of it. There is so much. During this visit at my grandparents' house, I definitely learned that you do not want to wait until the afternoon to go picking and harvesting your crops. It's way too hot. I, I felt like I was dying honestly it was so hot so if you're wanting to do a garden and grow your own fruits and vegetables definitely go harvesting in early in the morning when it is the coolest because here in South Carolina at least it is hot even though it is only technically what the second month of the summer I don't even know when summer starts. Our summer starts in freaking February half the time. But um, yeah, definitely harvest in the afternoon. Not the afternoon. I meant the morning. Harvest in the morning when it has been cooled off all night long and the sun is not completely up yet. Plus, it alleviates you getting sunburned. If you're as pale as I am, I sunburn so easy. And um, yeah, uh just do it in the morning all right and we're at the end of the video thank you guys for watching here are the plants that i have in the little i don't really know what this is called i'll have it linked in the description um you can get one of these off of amazon but it's doing really good getting my herbs to sprout up i've got some basil some dill and some spearmint and then these this is a sunflower and I have some broccoli as well. So I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching.